Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Life Modding. In this episode, I'm gonna use Sphere Chalk to create um, this uh, hypercube animations. So there are many ways to do this, and I'm pretty sure um, there's a simpler one, but it's kind of like an intermediate um, setup. Um, yeah, so basically the idea here is to use um, a torus. Yeah, you might didn't uh, realize that, but you can use torus, and it's actually pretty simple to create this kind of animations because torus have this uh, spin spin face that you can control that will actually rotate um, the whole things in the surface, kind of like sliding the surface. Uh, how did I make the torus? Uh, I mean the hypercube. Um, basically, the trick here is that. I'm simply scaling the outer part of the torus so it's like it's becoming like a cube if I zero that out I mean like it's gonna be just like a like a normal torus that's spinning so it's not like so complicated but uh so yeah it's just a simple torus but if I reduce the resolutions and kind of rotate it in Z 45 degree and then I scale the outer part you can basically get a some kind of like a hypercube fake hypercube I guess and you can spin it there is a pop unfortunately um, with this effect because basically what I did here is uh, I'm selecting the mesh element by locations so by the center and radius and I'm selecting only the, the center part and scaling only the outer part that's why when I spin it when it actually goes outside the boundary of this selection um, this thing is gonna pop um, if you want to have like um, like the perfect animations without the pop I'm pretty sure you can do that uh, simply by by baking baking this model and just before just before it pops you actually want to just simply uh, blend between it so it's that way you will get a, a motion that's not popping so it can get pretty tricky so yeah that's basically uh, how you can create something like this at the very end I'm using skin measure and to get the edge I'm using polygon to edge so the secret here is to use a uh, torus so it's pretty basic there's actually another way to do this actually there are few other different ways um, if you just want to have like a hyper cube you can simply have like a like a box whoops presses um, let's restart blender so let's go to compositing Job, create a box and then extrude separate face so if you are extruding this guy like that and you scale it until it until all the points in the corner meets what you're gonna have if you just get the edges is yet another happy uh, hypercube you probably need to do uh, like a remove doubles and things like that but that's a that's a simple one and you probably don't want to animate it uh, if this is like uh, like this you can't animate it so easily just like the the torus but this thing is still a uh, hypercube so if I back it out we have this guy you can use a uh, maybe skin modifier and go to the edit mode scale it down so that's a uh, hypercube but to animate this like a uh, like kind of like a bubble that's kind of goes inside itself and then looping over and over again i think the torus setup was uh, the easiest way to do it you can try to create a more complex one where you have a cube inside a cube inside a cube that's a 
you can do it in many different way but it's i think it's possible with uh with spread chalk it's just a matter of uh timing the cube and then connecting have some kind of edges that's connecting the cube uh it shouldn't be that complicated but uh this is the basic idea so you can have this kind of creations pretty easily thanks to the torus and the, the spin on the face so really in reality what you have is uh if you are using B mesh fever, delete everything, you have just these edges, right? And you can blend shape the edges. And this guy, if you look at it uh, from the index, this guy will actually rotate. It's gonna be looping. The index is all quite nice, you know, like look at this 2, 14, 10, 6 gonna do the rotations and then until at some point it's gonna pop back into the original position so at at that point you can kind of just loop it uh, you can do blend shapes make sure everything is smooth there is a this weird pop but then you can always smooth that out so yeah that's the secret of uh, how to make this uh, hyper cube animations Hopefully you find this useful, maybe at some point you want to create this um, for whatever reason. But there you go, hopefully you enjoy this, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time, bye.